I'm Jacob. I'm Brad. Welcome to the Smelly Guys Journey to the American Dream. So what's up, YouTube? Uh, check it out. Today, today is an extraordinary day for us as Smelly Guys. Uh, we're going to catch up real quick. We've done with some lawyer. We've got our LLC in the works. So that is a big plus. First thing in business, get your LLC going or your business license going. And we'll talk a little bit more about that here in a minute. But today, it is a very special day for us. And we are actually going to toast to Smelly Guys. As a sign of appreciation, a uh, co-worker of mine who helped in the study uh, to test out our product when we first came up with it, um, she liked our product and she bought us a little champagne and said, you know, why don't you toast for all your hard work and your beginning spot. So thank you, Janine, for bottle of champagne, non-alcoholic, by the way. <laughs> non-alcoholic champagne. Hey, you know what, at least... We're going to be sober when we shoot this video. Hey! Plus that, right? You gotta be a sober business person. Alright, cool. Uh, so yeah, definitely want to give a shout out to Janine. Thank you very, very much. From the bottom of my heart for believing in Smelly Guys. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to testing out our product. And giving us your feedback. Uh, without your feedback, we couldn't have done what we've done so far so again I want to say thank you all right and let's uh, let's do a toast to smelly guys journey to the American dream hope we get there fun and safe So now that we've got that out of the way, we this is episode two. Um, it is the basics of starting a business. So with that being said, there's a lot to cover. We're going to throw it at you kind of fast. Not too fast, but we're going to throw it at you. So make sure that you're able to pause the video. You're able to jot some stuff down if you want to. Take notes. Um, Grab a pot, pop some popcorn, whatever. It doesn't matter. Uh, just make sure you're paying attention because a lot of this is the very basics of starting a business. A lot of people have a lot of great ideas for starting a business. But like myself, like my business partner, we were very clueless what we wanted to do. There's two ways that you can look at starting a business. There's the services side, and then you have the good side. So there's two different types of businesses. When you decide to create your business, the first thing you need to do is sit back and think, do I want to be a services type business or a uh, services oriented type person? Or do I want to be a goods type person? I want to create a product and I want to sell it. Okay. So as Brian was saying, goods and services, those are the basics. But you can apply those more than just the mom and pop store, gas station, or I'm going to produce a product. The thing is, is to apply it, anything can be a service or a good. Let's say you're a singer. A singer who's talented, hopefully they're talented, can, uh, they can provide a service, definitely not a singer, can provide a service when they sing in front of a crowd. So that, you know, because they're providing a service, entertainment, they can get money for that way. But they can also provide a good by creating a CD. You can sell the CD 
and then you are also making money off of a good. With that being said, it's kind of like you can apply that to many different things. Think about things that are like, what are you talented in? Or what are you skilled at? What is it that you know? If you can fine tune those or, or work at them, you can actually produce a business based on that. Um, you'll always, you know, you'll have to start off like everybody else. You'll have to start somewhere. You have to establish a business. Um, but even going back talking about um, singers, look at the singers nowadays, some of the big name singers. Instead of continuing to just be singers, a lot of them have now adapted their talents into a business. They become promoters. Um, they, you know, record labels and stuff like that. They now go search for talented people, just like them, and make them, you know, a star because they're utilizing their, you know, those stars' abilities in a business model to make money. So, the cool idea is to, you know, if you're a type of singer who says, I'm going to go out there and I'm going to sing and hopefully, you know, a scout of some sort finds me and then takes me along and, and, and helps me become rich. Well, the thing is, they're a business set. That's the way they have a business mindset. If you can get your mind to be in that type of, of mode, you can already take your, your talent and make it grow without waiting for somebody to find you. You're the person who found you. You're the person who promotes you. You can be the, the business model, the business person for your town. So when they say good and services, it can be applied to just about anything. And you can build a business on it. Now, like Brian said, talk to business owners. But not everything has a business owner that you can find. Sometimes you just have to get on the old-fashioned uh, internet and just search it up. Find data on the internet. Get your research on. Another thing for products is you have people who are good problem solvers. Well, to be in the business, you need to be able to be a good scout for problems to begin with. Not just solve them. You have to find the problems. Find a need, find the solution, and the solution is what you can market. The solution can become your product. So now, I want to talk to you a little bit about how to get a legal advice and why that's important. You see, your company can actually protect you as an individual. Since we got our company as an LLC, which means Limited Liability Company, it prevents somebody from attacking us personally they can't like a person can't sue me personally because my product uh, malfunctioned they can only sue the company that's important it's like if we go get a loan if we get a loan from a bank and let's say our, our something happens now we can't make the payment by having a limited liability company the bank can't actually come after us personally they can only go after the company. So if the company goes bankrupt, doesn't necessarily mean that I personally go bankrupt. So that's a way to make your company so that your company protects you. Then, once you establish so that your company can protect you personally, you gotta look at making sure that your, your, your business is actually protected itself. And this is by getting a um, operation agreement done. Um, you can have a lawyer do this. And it basically, especially if you have partners, it says who owns what percentage and what everybody's roles are. For Smelly Guys, we have three directors, me, Brian, and Jeff. We cannot do anything unless all, at least majority vote, agree on it. That way, Somebody can't just go blow our money. To, we'd have to at least have the majority vote agree, yeah, let's go, you know, spend the money on this. Um, and even to, to go out and um, hire somebody, we have to agree to hire somebody. So everything has to be in agreement. That way, 
it's kind of you know the power shared between all the partners um, and then also especially when you start getting investors you can give investors certain percentages and just say hey they're investors but they have no power as far as how the company is ran. That's up to the um, specific people. Um, so that's why that's so important. And that's why I definitely strongly recommend that you get a lawyer to set this up. Somebody who really knows how to do this. Um, instead of just doing it yourself. It kind of covers everything. Um, let me give you another example that's pretty important is um, Let's say um, for, for your business agreement, like for ours, it says that if we are ever sued or if somebody ever attack, you know, comes after our company, they have to come to where we sit, the county that we sit. So if somebody's, you know, on the other side of the, the United States tries to sue us for some reason, they have to come to where we're at to sue us. Not yeah, where we have to house. go there. Yeah. So we don't have to go all the way over to another area so that and then have to learn their rules and find a lawyer that knows their stuff. This kind of helps keep it, you know, so that we understand the laws here and that's what's important. Um, so that's a way to kind of protect your business by having the business agreement and if somebody passes, who get what happens with their percents. Um, so remember, you always want to start off by making sure your business can protect you personally and then protect the business from itself, its partners.